Hey guys, wanted to talk about reviving coral bleaching. Um, so this, uh, this example here is this frog spawn. I purchased it as a bleach out. Um, I purchase bleach outs regularly because they're super cheap. Um, sometimes it's pretty obvious what they're going to turn into. Um, and other times it's, it's, it's a surprise what the, what they end up turning into. Um, and I've been told, oh, this is a rainbow Yuma and it's not, it's just a standard red, but Hey, it super cheap. Um, this is a frog spawn. It's going to turn into a standard, uh, green frog spawn. Um, and most frog spawns are green. You can kind of see that it, it is a little bit of a green tint there. So I purchased this as a bleach out and I'm going to show you the process that I did to reverse it. So simply just one week into my tank, um, I did start to see some improvement uh, just being in a better, healthier uh, tank, um, as well as, you know, the different nutrients and treatments that I put into my tank. I did see it start to respond just a little bit, which uh, is a great sign. So after giving it just this little bit of time to acclimate, um, this is going to be a time when I'm going to start feeding it. And um, I'm going to go through here what I feed it. So I feed it uh, polyp lab stuff. I feed polyp booster just to the water column and reef roids. The polyp booster um, reef roids combo. The polyp booster gets the, reef, gets the uh, corals into feeding mode. And the reef roids is the main food. However, I do want to point out a few things on the polyp booster. So... Um, the big thing there on the polyp booster, you can see it triggers that feeding response, but um, the big thing I want to highlight here is the 18 amino acids and 12 fatty acids that are present in the polyp booster. Now, this is going to aid in reversing some of that bleaching. It's going to aid in bringing some of that coral, that color back. And then I have the reef roids that's comboed with it. We get it into the feeding mode and then we drop in the, the reef roids. Um, I always direct feed the reef roids. I don't uh, broadcast feed. Everything's direct feed with a syringe. And the one thing I want to point out here on the back of the reef roids package is uh, this statement here where it says... Um, Continued use, your corals will never experience faster growth and coloration. So again, both of these are going to be items that are going to push growth as well as coloration. You can see there in feed mode, I, I after putting in the polyp booster, um, I did a little bit of recording to show you what feed mode looks like. You can see the mouth of the coral there is extended and uh, it is in feed mode and, and ready to, to receive some reef roids. Um, again, you can see every, every head here um, does have the, the mouth extended for feeding. And you can see some of that color starting to come back even more as uh, I start moving forward with uh, the reef roids treatment or the reef ro roids feeding here. Um, the reef roids and polyp lab combo feeding here. And so just a couple notes here on these two products. If you saw my video where I feed them, um, the polyp booster, I feed more than the recommended amount. Um, I, I think that a little extra of those amino acids and fatty acids, especially if I have something like this going on that I'm trying to re reverse is a benefit. So I do feed a little bit more than the recommended amount um, all the time, but especially uh, with this going on, I would, uh, I would do that personally. And then the reef roids, I feed based off the amount of mouths in the tank if I have a heavy stop stock tank I'm going to feed more than recommended if I do not have a heavy stock tank I would feed less than recommended those recommended are for average stock stocked tanks 
So then here we go, looking at it at three weeks in. This is the coloration we have after uh, three weeks. So that's the one week of acclimation um, to my tank. And then a couple weeks of feeding the Polyp Lab, Polyp Booster and Reefroids combo. I do feed that combo twice a week. I feed it on Wednesday night and I feed it on Sunday night. And I always do that feeding during the uh, nighttime blue portion of my light schedule. And then we move forward and kind of look here at the four week mark. So again, I'm just kind of drawing out how uh, color is changing. And you can see we've got a lot of color back into it at the four week mark um, and it's doing much better. And here we are jumping to the six week mark and we can see it is essentially almost 100% fully colored back up. Looks great from where it started. Um, all that bleaching is almost 100% reversed and it is looking well and doing well. Uh, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it gives you uh, some tips on how to uh, try to combat any coral bleaching you may have experienced. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe, check out some more of my content, and I'll get more out soon. Thanks, guys.